morning roads are really rough. But the thing is, the drivers are so good. They have nothing else left to do than just to drive really well. You know, you just have to man the f up and learn how to drive properly. Or you just destroy your car, don't drive at all. I love this concept. A big part of Ukrainian culture is food. If you're after the freshest food, the best place to find it is the market. By the way, speaking of health and safety, there's a, a hole in the middle of the street. So don't be drunk and uh, walk into a hole. So if you're after the freshest food, the market is your friend. But again, you have to be very careful. Markets are very common in every town or city. And sometimes you can even find them on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. Farmers sell their seasoned fruit, vegetables and meat here and you can bet your pants that this is the most organic slash free range slash whatever thing you can buy. But that comes with a price. And that price is hygiene. Meat is just laying there exposed to flies, birds and heat. And if you're not careful enough, well, you know what happens. So the best way not to get food poison is to be very careful and know what you're buying. You have to learn how to recognize good from bad because flies are everywhere. And also what works here is if the meat is bad or any of the products you buy and it's bad, people will know because you tell your friends and the person that's selling lower quality stuff will be known for that. So they will basically eliminate her or him. You know, you have to be good. You can't sell rubbish because people will be talking about you and you're off the market. Market. So here's the thing, if you want to become a seller, how do you make sure that your food is the best and the freshest? Well, we have to start early, early in the morning. So let's go. Fishermen start their work early in the morning, long before the sunrise. Some in small fishing boats, some at the shore. Every morning they bring their catch to the market, either to sell it themselves or to sell it to the slightly bigger fishmongers. Anyhow, moving on. The thing that Ukraine does really well is they love their parties. And if they party, they party really hard. So right now it's one of the, one of the places. Oh boy, this is gonna be hell of a night. So this brings us to why I'm in Ukraine in the first place. I was invited to the 80th birthday party to this fancy venue in the center of Nikopol, which is a town in East Ukraine. And despite it being an 80th birthday party, it was still a savage night, because these guys know how to celebrate no matter the age. how I managed to survive all that alcohol. My head is about to explode. And the worst thing is that my flight is in a couple of hours, so I need to get ready. Uh... All I want to say that this country won't stop surprising you. In every corner you will find historical references, and every person you'd ask would tell you numerous facts about this very rich culture. Yes, you will see unpleasant things, but you will also see a lot of beautiful things here. Ukraine is not hiding behind a curtain of pretentious belief that everything is A-OK. -okay. It's a rough country that is full of strong people. People that fight for a better future every day. And I can't help but admire them. 